associative laws. These two laws have something to do with the grouping. The very first one deals with OR function. It shows me that no matter where I'm going to put my parentheses, um, my answer is going to be always the same. So let's say if I have A OR inside of the parentheses B OR C is equivalent to A OR B OR C. Let's see how it's going to look like on the diagram. So I have A and I'm going to have OR with with B C. So I'm going to have A over here B or C will give me B or C over here and my answer is going to be A or B or C. This law states that this is going to be equivalent to A or B or C. Let's take a look. I have A or B and everything is ORT to C. These two circuits are equivalent. This is nothing else, just three input OR gate. And this is also three input OR gate. Because the answer is A or B or C. Let's take a look at second law. Second law is dealing with AND. So, if you are going to implement this, you are going to see that there is A and with BC. Okay, so the answer is going to be A and BC. Because this is the product, this is nothing else, just A, B, C. This is three input AND gate, we can say. Now, the law says this is equivalent to A, B, and this is ended with C. And again, let's take a look what I'm going to have on the output. I have A and B, so I have A, B, this is C, A, B, times C. And because this is the multiplication, this is AND, I simply write this is equivalent to A, B, C. This is, again, nothing else, just three input AND gate. As you can see, this is very simple.